Well, I'm Ryan Johnson. I'm the campus director at Stoke-on-Trent College. I'd like to take you through some of the control measures we've got in place to support you and make sure that you're safe and secure whilst you're here on campus, um, considering the COVID-19 measures that we've got in place. So we're currently in the reception area and this is where you'd start uh, come September. Um, we've got a track and trace system, which I'll talk to you a little bit more about that as we, as the, we go through into the other areas. Uh, but it's vitally important that any visitors to the college, including staff and students, sign in so that we know who's been on site. A part of the process as well, which we'll talk a little bit about later on, is the, the actual temperature checking control measures that we've got in place as well. What I'd like to do now is show you some of the communal areas of the college, including the canteen. So as you can see, we've got clearly marked out with two metre distancing stickers on the floor, a one-way system in and around all the communal areas of the college. Um, so what I'd like to do now is walk you through that one-way system. But what I must say, it's vitally important that you maintain that two metre gap and also follow the one-way systems which are clearly identified using the arrows on the floor. Okay, so in the canteen facility itself, you'll see that we've maintained the two metre distancing as a guide that must be adhered to whilst using this facility. And as an additional measure, through all of our kiosks in the building, whether it be at the main reception, to our advice and guidance areas, right the way through to the canteen, we've got our screening in place to make sure that you are protected as a learner or a visitor to the college, but also that our staff are protected as well. As a learner starting in September, you go straight to your faculty area, whether that would be science, IT, engineering or construction if you're studying at the Burslem campus. Um, the procedure is exactly the same to make sure that all students are safe during their studies within the building. Um, so the first thing you'll need to do is every single entrance and exit has a hand sanitising station. So as a learner, we will encourage you to sanitise your hands. And you'll also notice some signage on the floor that indicates an entrance or an exit as appropriate and also some one-way systems are being implemented. There is also a reminder of the two metre distancing. Now the government guidelines have stated one metre distancing, however as a college to ensure that we're keeping you safe, secure and supported as a learner, um, we are imposing the two metre distancing rule from September. Upon entry to each one of the faculty areas, you'll be greeted by the head of department. In this case, we've got Tim Johnson with us, who's the head of construction, but the procedure is the same for every single area of the college. Now, part of the process is that we have to do something what's called track and trace. So this is where we record your name, and as part of the process, we'll also ask to record your temperature. The reason that we ask to record your temperature is because if it is slightly above 37 degrees um, it may be an indication that your body is fighting some sort of virus or infection. Now what we're not saying here is that you've got the coronavirus, however to ensure that the, the environment that everybody is working within we may well ask you to, to leave campus and uh, make arrangements to go home. If you are under the age of 18, we will be in contact with your parents and guardians to ensure that somebody is at home to, to look after you. Okay, so the key thing that you should have noticed there is that I was stood side on to Tim and Tim is also wearing some PPE as a control measure to stop you contracting the virus. Staff also have to go through this process each and every day that they're on campus and they will report to the main reception areas of the college in order to support the track and trace process. What I'd like to do now is take you down into some of the workshop areas uh, where we can show you what we've done in terms of signage and also ensuring social distancing measures can be kept to. It's vitally important that we stick to the one-way system. Okay, I'll take you down into the construction workshops now. You'll notice again, it's clearly signed, uh, no exits and also the one-way system that we've got. Uh, it's vitally important that you do adhere to those one-way systems at all times. As we walk into the workshop area, you'll see that the signage changes slightly and the text is saying two metre distancing. So these signs on the floor are exactly two metres apart, just to give you an idea 
of exactly what that distance is. Okay, so as you come into the workshop area, you'll notice that some of the areas are barriered off. That's to support the one-way system that we've got in place. So if you're a returning student and you're normally coming into this workshop and you're working within the plumbing and gas area, you'd normally turn right into the workshop. It's vitally important again, as I said before, that you follow the one-way system. So you come into the workshop and into your designated areas. So we're currently in the technology hub, which is the home for the District Heat Academy. And also if you're studying engineering and automotive technology courses, uh, this is where you'll tend to be during the, the, the majority of the week. You'll notice straight away, as soon as we come into the building, that we've got the entrance only signs on the floor and also the one-way arrows that are distanced two meters apart, just to give you an understanding of exactly what two meters is. And as we look down the corridor, you'll notice that we've got a Constantina partitioning. And the reason that we've done it like that is again, to encourage the two meter distancing. So it's vitally important that you stick to the one-way systems and also maintain a distance of at least two meters. What I'm going to do now is take you down into some of the engineering workshops. We'll also show you some of the control measures we've put in place within those areas. So as soon as we walk into the workshop, you'll notice that on the floor, again, we've got the two meter distancing stickers to, to give you that understanding of two meters. Uh, but also each one of the workstations, whether you be working on the lathes, the milling equipment or the CAD equipment within this work area is distance at least two meters apart as well. And that is then extended into the hand fitting areas of the workshop. If you'd like to follow me down through into the welding bays, I'll show you some of the control measures we've got in place there as well. We're now in the welding area of the college where we've got 25 booths specifically for gas, arc, MIG and TIG welding. Um, as a student here, you'll enter one bay for a control measure related to coronavirus. We'll then skip a bay and then a student will be in the next bay down to that. The other thing as well from, to protect the tutor and the student is we won't be sharing any area whilst in the booth. So we've incorporated this screen that protects against tutor and students and it also allows us to carry out any assessment and that coaching that a student may need to improve their welding without sharing the personal space and maintaining that two metre distancing. Okay, so we're now in our electrical installation workshops. Again, as soon as you walk into the work area, we've got a hand sanitizer gel, a reminder, two meter distancing. As you walk through into the area where you get changed and put on your PPE, it's a reminder there from our key partner, AKD Electrical, in terms of what you should be wearing within these areas. Um, and then as you come through into the workshop area, you will see that it's set out as individual sessions. So we've got the hazard tape to enforce the distancing across the both sides of the workshop. Each learner will have their individual packs there ready and prepared from the tutor. And each learner will have an individual booth uh, where they can carry out their practical assessments and practical skills development throughout the day. So as a student, you might find yourself in other areas of the, co of the college as opposed to the specific learning areas that we've got. Um, this is our advice and guidance centre and also our admissions team are based here. As part of the control measures we've got in this area, again, as you walk into the area, you've got hand sanitizers, stations and all of the staff um, have got the screening in place as well to protect yourself as a visitor or learner to the college, but also to ensure that our staffing team are safe as well. This is our learning resource centre. It's a central focal point for learners carrying out studies at the college. So in and around session times, you may well find yourself using some of the resources that we have in here. Again, two metre distancing rules apply and to help us with that, we do have the two metre stickers on the floor. Each workstation has been or will be set out to enforce that two metre working. For learners that are studying science with us next year, this is one of three state-of-the-art science classrooms that we've got to complement the STEM offer that we've got at the Burslem campus. Um, again, social distancing measures will be implemented into these areas, including the two meter stickers on the floors um, and also the, the distancing within the classroom itself. So to support that, we've only got half of our learners in at any one time. So it may be that you come onto campus for one week, you do all the practical activity, and then the following week, sessions will be streamed or you'll be able to access them through our virtual learning environment called Canvas.
So in addition to the social distancing measures that we have in place and the cleaning facilities in terms of the hand sanitising stations, we have an increased frequency of cleaning activities that goes on throughout the site as well. So this is working closely with our domestic services team to ensure that all the areas are cleaned and wiped down between sessions and any use of any equipment that is cleaned as well to make sure that you are safe, secured, supported whilst carrying out your studies at Stoke-on-Trent College. As you can see, the college has made sure that we've got the measures in place to support you to make sure that your safety is paramount during these uncertain times. And there is three things that I need you to do for us. That is ensure that you keep to the two metre distancing measures that we have in place. You must inform us if you have got any symptoms relating to the COVID-19 virus. And please bear in mind that whilst we've got control measures on campus, it's vitally important that you adhere to the same regulations and rules whilst you're off campus as well during your break times. So enjoy your summer break and we look forward to seeing you in September. Been in college for a few weeks now and the social distancing rules haven't impacted my learning. In the classrooms I'm feeling safe because of the social distancing and then around the college and the community areas as well. Because my mum's got an illness and if she got corona then it'd be bad because she's on dialysis. So with the social distancing and stuff like that, it's making me feel more comfortable to come back in college. At first I was concerned with how much work I'd be getting done in classrooms and work areas, but since the small class sizes we've been getting a lot more work done. 